Well, I guess I'm right again. It's not something I wanted to be right about. Imran Wan, Trump's mystery, Pakistani mystery man, Imran Wan, and Ina Alvi, his wife, and his two brothers. The Pakistani spy ring in Congress today, I put up a video a while ago, I said that they would be exonerated, that, that they would be let out the back door, Imran Wan, for espionage and high crimes against the United States, leaking information. So. I was right, today is uh, July 3rd, and Imran Awan was, uh, he took a plea, a plea bargain today at uh, court in D.C. I'm glad I saved the bus ticket. Why go down there and get get humiliated? None of the, the press, I just read the, I know Jason Goodman is down there, I know Dr. Corsi and Lee Stranahan and George Webb are all, you know, chasing fucking Imran Awan around the streets of DC as if that's I don't know something important I don't I don't I don't really I think that the decisions were already made the takeaway is that the justice department will not prosecute itself right because what Imran Awan did became so normalized and so acceptable in congress that they were all in on it, right? All the congressmen and all the senators. And what were they in on? They're in on a, on on hoarding information, the buying and the selling of of classified information, secrets inside congressional congressional, you know. There's no separation of power anymore. It's a very sad day in America. I got to tell you, you know, people don't. I mean, tomorrow's Independence Day, and the fireworks are going to go off, and, and we're independent, but there's no more Constitution in America. Something like this was, this was one of the biggest catches in modern history, where, where we figured out, not only as a result of the 2016 election, because they cheated, we were able to see the extent to which you know how badly the, the 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 powers that be will lie in the, in the case of the DNC you saw it when they got caught cheating they invented a they invented an enemy Guccifer the Russian Russian hacks right? but really it was so much deeper than that and the, the story of Imran Awan holds the answer but we'll never know now because now the mainstream media led by the Washington Post has convinced the world they've released the official narrative fed to them by their parent company the CIA that it's all just a conspiracy theory there's nothing to see here any talk of Imran Awan is really just Trump's propaganda because Trump called them the Pakistani mystery man but we've been following this story all the way back so it's a very so look I got into this investigative reporting because what happened today with Imran Awan where where enormous evidence of you know illegal access to classified information through secure servers in Congress a spy ring was going on and it held the answer in those emails, you know, in those communications, holds all the answers to the corruption at the Clinton Foundation, right? All the corruption in the DNC, the election fraud, how Wall Street, how, how Congress is really pay for play and there is no democracy, how oligarchy controls the board, right? When you investigate Imran Awan, that's what you find. When you investigate that story, it goes way deeper than Watergate, a couple of guys bugging an office. This is, this is a, the hijacking of, of Congress, where there is no separation anymore, where deep state 
which used to be controlled by the executive branch, but Trump has no power anymore. Trump can't even get the prosecution of a, a low-level IT Pakistani guy. Can't even get a fair trial. Right? The Justice Department used to be under the jurisdiction of the president, the executive branch. But it's clearly not anymore. The Senate and Congress and judicial, you're seeing a blending together. One. One supreme power, and they're all in on it. Right? And to defy that power is to be blackballed. And to go along with that power is to be rewarded. It's George Orwell. It's 1984. I've been saying it all along, but the story of, of Imran Awan is, is particularly devastating to me because I fought an organization. I, I personally fought an organization, Department of Sanitation, a, you know, kind of a low level municipality here in New York. And I learned, I learned kind of the hard way that you fight authority and you lose and that authority will never prosecute itself, right, at a, at a local level, that they'll pounce you out and then try to label you a kook. If you get enough momentum, they'll try to label you a kook or a conspiracy theory or a, a joke or a clown or whatever they call you. Right? 